Meet Angela. Angela is 11 and in grade 6. She's an only child and lives with her mom and her dad. Angela is a super flexible thinker and has an enormous imagination. She loves fantasy fiction and creates her own imaginary worlds that she sometimes brings to life with Lego. She loves video games. She could spend hours playing and sometimes even forgets to eat or go to the bathroom, which has happened once or twice. Even though Angela spent a solid week doing nothing but making the Lego Death Star, she has a hard time focusing on most other things. She's often daydreaming and distracted by little things when she's supposed to be paying attention. And although Angela has really big ideas and easily starts a lot of projects, they rarely get finished. This is especially true when it comes to schoolwork. Angela has so many thoughts and ideas and questions and plans swirling around in her brain that she often forgets to focus on what's right in front of her. Angela has a brain that works a little bit differently. Her brain has something called ADHD. This means Angela is an expert at noticing all sorts of things all at once. But it's way harder for Angela's brain to focus on things she doesn't find all that interesting. For example, spending longer than 15 minutes on a school assignment is really tricky. ADHD also makes it hard for Angela to think before she acts. This means she might blurt out answers, interrupt others, take something that's not hers, or budge in line. This can frustrate her classmates, and even her teacher. But everyone knows Angela is trying her best. We all daydream, behave impulsively, or struggle to concentrate on things once in a while. But ADHD is bigger than that. If left untreated, ADHD is beyond someone's control. No one can stay mad at Angela for too long because she's such a kind friend and super fun to be around. If anyone needs a joke or a fun play idea to cheer them up, Angela's the person for the job. There are a bunch of things that can help Angela's brain focus better. She has a to-do list to help her get out of the house in the morning. She takes some medicine at breakfast time. She has a timer on her desk, next to all the rocks, sticks, and paper clips that she's collected at recess, of course. Her teacher checks in and helps her get started on her schoolwork. Her parents help Angela keep her room tidy and backpack organized. All of this helps Angela manage her ADHD way better. When she gets her jobs done, she has more time to explore her imaginary worlds and share her epic creativity with her friends.